Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to do part one of the build of the LEGO Technic Class Xeron 5000 Track VC. It's kind of a mouthful of a name, but it's a it's an actual tractor with a motorized crane arm and a motorized cabin um, based on a real tractor made by the manufacturer Klaas. I think it's Klaas, C-L-A-A-S. So um, this is a monster set. This is from 2016 and it's just shy of 2,000 pieces which is enormous but it's still not anything like the bucket wheeled or the bucket tracked excavator from 2016 that's over 4,000 pieces so even though this is big enough to be a flagship model it's not even the flagship model for this year so it's going to be multiple part build because it's so big and it's just gonna take forever. So I'm gonna try to spend most of today building it and then uh, break the videos up into multiple parts so we can kind of uh, not be overwhelmed with too many long videos. So let's go ahead and dump everything out and see what we have in here. All right, that is everything. So we have an enormous instruction book that's in a bag by itself, along with sticker sheet. Let's open this up. So it's a, a medium-sized sticker sheet. So that'll be our decorations. And the, the instruction book was not in cardboard backed, so it's still kind of got curled up, even though it was in a bag. But it could be worse, it's not, not really that bad. All right, so we have these enormous tires that came loose in the box. And there's the last one. So there's four huge rubber tires, and then we've got the accompanying wheels that go with them. Those were also loose in the box. So I'm basically just putting those off to the side because that's probably one of the last things we'll put on. We have a battery box that was loose in the box. And a, this is a medium motor. Uh, yeah, it's a medium motor. In a unnumbered bag. Now the rest of the bags are numbered. So we have, you can see, and they do them in multiple bags. So there's a lot of bags too. And then there's bags one. One, 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 and one. So most of them are all bag one, and these are the few bags number two. So I'll put the bags two off to the side. And then all of the bags one, basically what I have to do is open them all up and uh, Basically, the way you have to build these LEGO Technic sets that are so large is you have to sort the parts by part type or else it'll be almost impossible to find the part you're looking for versus just trying to dump them all into one pile. Um, I mean, I could probably make it work if I dumped them all in one pile, but I'm not going to mess with that. So what I'm going to do is open all these bags, sort them, and then we'll begin the build. So, uh... You know, what'll seem like nothing for you, it's gonna probably take me about 20 minutes to do that, so I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. So as you can see, I have everything dumped out, everything sorted by part type. Some of it is just loose piles, some of it I lined up pretty straight, kind of like these lift arms. But basically I have all my pins and connectors, basic bricks, I have axles, I have uh, gears. These are all my lift arms, and then we got lift arm connector pieces, we got thin lift arms, and then a bunch of pin and axle joiners. So, we're gonna be building right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, point the camera right like that, and then we'll make adjustments as we go. So, I'm kind of upset that the, the, that the instruction book is kind of bent, so I'm gonna have to Try to reverse bend it so it kind of lays straight. You can see how it's kind of folding up like that. So, uh, there's our first uh, 
first pages of the instructions. So, start with this um, frame type element. It's the only one that came in the bags. There's not that many large frame pieces in this first couple bags or first numbered bags one. All right, so that's kind of where we're starting. So already we're gonna do a sub build, which means we build something um, separate from the rest of the model and then we attach it to the model. So we have this little connector that slides all the way in there. We have this axle with a stop. It goes up in there. Put a red bushing. There wasn't many bushings in bags one either. Um, put the smallest gear right there on the axle then this little selector connector and then another axle put one of these pins with a little perpendicular pinhole okay so those go like that this here and slide these three long friction pins in there. Now we have a seven long axle. And this will slide all the way through like that. So it's basically centered in there and about as far as this pin is sticking out as far as you want that axle to stick out. 15 long lift arm and we're going to put some friction pins on and a three long goes there along with This one here, another friction pin. Okay, so this whole connector piece slides right there. <clears throat> okay, so we have another little sub build. Let's start with a seven long axle. Slide this connector about halfway down it. more of these connectors. Now we have this angled left arm. Got friction pins in there. Okay, just like that. Slides on there. We have a five long lime green piece. It goes there. So we turn it this way. And that attaches like that. So, once again, we have another little sub build where we build a module and then attach it to the rest of the model. Start with this yellow axle and then attach some other various bits and pieces to it. All right, we have a mini linear actuator. We're going to uh, hold the axle right here or if you put the gear on it 
and hold the gear, you can actually turn this and it unscrews. So that's how this mini actuator works. So when you, s you turn the axle, the gear will pull it out. So they, they show us in the instructions about how far they want it out. There's a little diagram that, uh, kind of what they call a one-to-one -one diagram. So that's about how far they want it out right there. Put that on there. Grab another one of these guys. Slide it on the end. Sandwiching all this together. That. Now we have four of these three long friction pins. A black L-shaped left arm. Another one with a three long axle. And these things are rolling away from me off to the side. Let's see here. They have it turned this way and this slides in there. Let's show that attached there. goes on the other side and then make sure to line that piece up right there to where it all snaps together. thin left arms that go there. Another red axle. This piece goes here. So that slides all the way through. Next we take another one of these pieces and slide a Red axle and then two more of the thin red left arms. And that will close off this piece. Have the five long left arms. This goes like that. I don't think it matters which way it's oriented. It's kind of symmetrical. Then we have these, what I call pin bushings. It's basically a one long lift arm that goes on, on a axle or a friction pin. So, let's see how they have it oriented in the instructions. They have it like this. Slide this in here and then push the little axle joiner piece in. Right. Grab one of these. friction pins. We have a three long lift arm, a five long. Now a friction pin and a seven long lift arm here. Try to orient 
this the right way there. Okay, that goes like that. Okay, I see what we're doing. We're trying to line that up. Okay, so with that lined up, we'll grab a seven long axle, a bevel gear, and an axle joiner. So we can attach our axle joiner, put the bevel gear in here, which will line up with the bevel gear that's attached to the linear actuator. Now we we'll slide that all the way in. Now we have that that can turn and they show the model rotated this way now so it's confusing because you've got this little module and they keep showing it rotated different ways so make sure to carefully pay attention to the instructions all right so that goes there and we slide this axle with like a little um, I forget what that joiner piece is called that's actually a little tricky to get in but it looks like I got it give it a little bit of room to be able to turn and now this piece is what will attached to it so you can see it allows it to slightly move while still be able to turn it all right we've got our three long lift arm attached to a five long friction pin and our seven long so that all lines up there put our axle joiner there and it allows this to move up and down it's pretty cool so we turn it back around this way, bring our module over, and they show, show it going there. All right, looks good. that down that little module to build this looks like the same one we built earlier so it's gonna, gonna close off or sandwich everything in Got the five long lift arm Simply attaches right there. Nothing really to it. So now we're going to put our first stickers on. Let's see, we have sticker number 21. This looks like where our selector switch is going to be for the drivetrain. So that sticker goes right there. Sticker number 20. And these stickers are numbered for reference only, not in the order that you put them on. So don't think that we skipped a bunch of stickers. Just haven't got to them yet. Alright. So that is our selector stickers. 
Move that sticker sheet off to the side. Next we have another long lift arm with uh, friction pins on it. It's three long friction pin. It doesn't go in all the way yet. We'll push it in once we get it on the model. So we'll carefully line everything up. Once we have it all lined up, this should go in there, so long as you've built everything kind of per the instructions. Everything should line up okay. Next we have these axle joiners on a yellow axle. This lines up with these friction pins here. Take another one. All should line up on the other side with everything else. Okay, give it a good squeeze. And that'll push everything together if it's not together yet. All right, move that to the side. We have another little sub build to do. Let's we'll start with this um, 11 long left arm. Couple three long friction pins in there. And two of these pieces. So we start by just barely putting these into the axle holes. Because what we'll do is we'll sandwich them in once we get it wrapped around the lift arm. So what you do is you put that there and just push the bottom one in. We don't want to do the top one yet. Then we take this red little axle joiner, sandwich that in there, and then push the red axle all the way in. Pieces. Go there and there. And the two on the other side. Okay. Next we have our hubs. These are our wheel hubs. We've got um, this little piece that has this little track here, and then this thing goes in that big hole. And this is one of those satisfying snaps. It's also a snap of no return. Once this thing goes in there, it's never going to come out. So here we go. You can hear that loud snap of it going in there. And like I said, once it's in there, it's probably never coming out. So we have these pins that have a axle on the end, and these are non-friction pins with the axle. A friction pin with an axle. So the blue rep represents the friction, and then the tan color represents the non-friction. Have these two pieces ready, and with the tan pins, sticking up. We'll slide these in there. Now we have two more of these pieces that slide over the pin on the top. And 
and then this three long axle will slide all the way through. We have some yellow bushings on the ends to hold them in place. It will also help with the steering. It will prevent this steering hub to turn too far. It's pretty loose until we get it all on there. axle in just a little bit more but looks like it's good. This hub is also real loose until we get everything connected to it. Um, let's see, they show this being folded down. And we're going to bring this over, line these up right here. And squeeze it through there. So those are all axle holes that should all line up. Rotate this back up and those line up with those friction pins. Alright, so our hubs are good there. Now we have another 11 long lift arm that will slide right in this gap with two red axles. It should slide in there in this little tight squeeze. Get my fingers in there. Got that one. Let's do this last one. Light bluish gray, 13 long axles. Very good. See that links the steering hubs together. Now we have. T-shaped fin lift arms that we're going to uh, put these non-friction pins with an axle on it. One there and one there and then a non-friction pin right here. Basically need to make two of them. Our second one, and then the non friction pin there. So these will connect there, and do we go over right there? This is kind of not a mirrored version of it, they're both facing the same way. One is just down a little bit further than the other one. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so we've got looks like another little sub build before we are done with this portion of the build. We have an eight long axle with a stop. It goes all the way through this. Red bushing. We have two of these pins with the perpendicular pinhole that are going to get three long friction pins. These 
these both attach here. With a three long left arm attached to it. We have a seven long lime green left arm. This is gonna get two three long thin lift arms. So you can see we're building all these small little modules and then we'll connect them all here in a second. So this piece here. Seven long. pieces and so this is where it's all gonna kind of come together so we'll slide these through there this then goes there slides underneath all the way through. Dark bluish gray gear. Seven long lime green. slides all the way in there. We turn it over. Everything's kind of loose and flopping around. So we're not quite sure what's going on here yet. This is also turned. So they show that piece going through there. interlocks with this small axle. We're going to go ahead and put the axle joiner on top. And then if we turn it this way, a red bushing will go down here. All right, so you can see we've got a little skeleton of a tractor going. We know where some wheels are gonna go, but there's a lot of inner workings that are in progress. So we're gonna stop this portion of the video here. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other parts, and we'll see you in part two.